no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And this is who you want at the line. Cunningham showing what true leadership is all about. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth. And it's Simons with the ball for the Trailblazers. Oh, wow! A huge basket to tie the game! Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Thompson passes to Ivy. Out to Thompson. Grant with a steal. Oh, no good! We're headed for overtime. Regulation has ended, and we are headed to overtime. And we'll be back right after this. to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. Here we go. And pretty Simons out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Jeremy Grant. Then there's Robert Williams. And it's Aiden in at the five. Drills it from deep. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Brockton against Cunningham. Metu, pass to Cunningham. Oh, Cunningham with an answer three. And that's Cunningham coming back with the rapid response. Here's Portland now. Here's Brockton. It's tipped. On the wing, Simons. And the foul on Jaden Ivey. That's his third foul of the game. Third personal foul. Here's Aiton. The rebound by Stewart. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Now here's Ivy. Cunningham, left side. With some arc. Oh, Cade with the thump game. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure... They keep it. Simons against Ivy. Williams passes to Simons. Outside, Williams. Just five to shoot. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Assertive from Aiton wanting to score often and then forcing the D right there at his size to foul him. Aiton hits them both. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Cunningham passes to Metu. Offline with a three. For Portland, they've gotten one shot to fall out of three in OT. Pass to Simons. Just about two minutes into the overtime period. What a game. Williams passes to Simons from 15 feet away. And Metu pulls it down. Metu's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Cunningham against Aiden. And it's Cunningham missing. Well, the Trailblazers shooting at a respectable 49%. Brockton pass to Simons. And the foul on Jaden Ivey. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Pistons on D. Simons outside. Pass to Aiden. Skills growing, maybe right in front of our eyes here for DeAndre Ayton. Brockton against Cunningham. 
Portland grabs the miss. Williams has got eight rebounds in the game. Simons passes to Brockton. The Pistons have gone two for five here in OT. Stewart finds Ivy. Hey, great D that time from Grant. And now we've got an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And Aiton has done such a good job of staying focused and really staying in his lane to make the contributions that he does. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. Detroit calls timeout. They're trailing by six. A minute nine left in overtime. in for the Pistons. in the post. He's covered by Simons. Out of bounds. It'll be Portland's ball. Now Portland with it. Good momentum. Eight straight points. And the foul on Jaden Ivey. That's it for him. He's fouled out. Not only that, we're in the bonus. So we'll go to the line for two. That's a tough walk back to the showers. I'm pretty sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back. The Pistons making a switch here. Fournier's checked in. Detroit has gone one of two from three-point range since regulation. Stewart, the pass to Thompson. Here's Lee. Oh, he nails it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five! That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. And it's Simons missing. And here's Detroit. Pass to Thompson. And here is Fournier. And it's good. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. And Fournier not going to back down. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Lee, the pass to Stewart. And he buries it. Man, he's brought them within two points now. And you love it when the heart of your team injects that kind of play. That was huge from Stewart. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Yeah, from the strike, Brogdon is exceptionally consistent. The defense fouled the wrong player, if you ask me. And now they foul and stop the clock. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Well, Simons can produce, and he does it in bunches, but can he do it in big moments? Here's a chance. Now that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Timeout called. The Pistons. They trail by five. 11 seconds left in the first overtime period. Guys, what do you think? Score quick, then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a, a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Here's Lee. No good on the quick three. And he commits the intentional foul. Four personal foul. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Simon. 
Two shots. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. They've been a different squad here in overtime. I'm just not seeing the same energy level. So the Trail Blazers win it. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks, guys. DeAndre, a new season. How exciting is it to play ball in front of this home crowd? You know, um, with all that excitement and all the fans coming out here, really, I just wanted to put on a show for them, to be honest, and just win as many games as I played. The energy from the fans was missed. Thanks so much, DeAndre. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Simons.